Mr. President, uh, thank you. President Inishto. Um, if I could, sir, I've got two pertinent questions to ask you. Maybe I could ask them separately to get a fresh answer out of each one. Um, the three House intelligence, uh, three House committees that are looking into the impeachment inquiry gave notice today that they will be sending a subpoena to the White House for documents and, and other materials. Will you cooperate with those subpoenas? Well, I always cooperate. This is a hoax. This is the greatest hoax. This is just a continuation of what's been playing out, John, for the last, uh, since my election, I would say, if you want, and probably we'll find out soon, but probably even before my election. Uh, this is a uh, fraudulent crime on the American people, but we'll work together with Shifty Shift and uh, Pelosi and all of them, and we'll see what happens because uh, we did absolutely, I had a great call with the President of Ukraine. It was 100 percent. You have the transcript. And then uh, Schiff went up and he got, as the chairman of the committee, got up and uh, related a call that didn't take place. He made up the language. I, hard to believe. Nobody's ever seen this. I think he had some kind of a mental breakdown. But he went up to the microphone and he read a statement from the President of the United States as if I were on the call. Because what happened is when he looked at the sheet, which was an exact transcript of my call, done by very talented people that do this, exact, word for word, he said, wow, he didn't do anything wrong. So he made it up. He went up to a microphone and in front of the American people and in Congress, he went out and he, he gave a whole presentation of words that the President of the United States never said. It has to be a criminal act. It has to be. And he should resign. And some people even say it was treason. But it was a very sad thing. And just so you know, the call was perfect, the real call, the call I made. Uh, many people were on the line. I knew that uh, because usually when I speak to foreign uh, country leaders, uh, you can name any one of them, but when I speak on the phone, I know that we have many people listening from various intelligence agencies. My knowledge, I know all about it. And so this isn't something like, oh, gee, I'm on the line, let's talk about a big secret. This is many people on the line. I don't even know how many we'll find out, I guess. But many people, Mike Pompeo was on the line, didn't say anything, he just, because they listen for both knowledge and for security reasons and for lots of reasons. But, uh, the President of Ukraine at the United Nations the other day, and previous to that, he announced through his spokesperson, said there was absolutely no pressure put on him. There was no quid pro quo at all. And if you look at this <clears throat> whistleblowers, which I have a lot of respect for whistleblowers, but only when they're real, his uh, report of the phone call was totally different than the fact. But what got them was they never thought I was going to release the call, because I don't like doing that. I don't want to do it. I hope I don't have to do it again. Release phone calls to foreign dignitaries, to foreign leaders. I don't want to do that, John. I don't want to do it again. But I did it with the permission of the Ukrainian government. We got permission. We called up their representatives and asked them, would it be okay? Otherwise, I couldn't have done it. And if I wouldn't have done it, I would have been exposed to a lie, because the whistleblower report didn't he say seven or eight times, I said, quid pro quo? In other words, you're going to do this or you're not going to get money. Now, in all fairness, Biden said it, and he's on tape. In all fairness, you have at least four United States senators, Democrats, that said it. And they said it a lot stronger than even Schiff and his made-up story said it. Uh, Okay, what's your second question? So, just well, you shouldn't be answer, asking two questions. Well, the, you're going to want to answer. Do me a favor. Ask, ask one of the Finnish I will, but Finnish I think you want, John, I John. Think you want to ask, answer John, this question. ask sure. one of the Finnish president. And then can I come back to you? Because I think you'll want to we'll answer We'll talk later, sure. Right. Uh, well, it sounds like it might be a good question. Let me see if I like the question. Go ahead. There, Maybe for the first time in three years, I'll have a good question, and I'll there, love it. There is a report that came out just before you and President Ninishta walked out here that the whistleblower met with a staff member of Adam Schiff prior oh, I love to that question. being filed. It shows that Schiff is a fraud. And I, I love that question. Thank you, John. So can I finish asking? Yes, there's nothing to finish. Uh, so, so the whistleblower, according to this report, met with a member of, of uh, Adam Schiff's staff. You've got it right there. You know it. I hate to say it's the New York Times. I can't believe they wrote it. Your, your response to the Maybe fact they're getting that, better. Your response to the fact that that happened and that Schiff may have learned some of what the whistleblower knew prior to the complaint. Well, I think it's a scandal that he knew before. I go a step further. I think he probably helped write it. Okay? That's what the word is. And I think it's uh, — I give a lot of respect for The New York Times for putting it out. It just happened as I'm walking up here. They handed it to me. And I said to Mike, I said, whoa, that's something. That's big stuff. That's a big story. He knew long before, and he helped write it, too. It's a scam. It's a scam. 
Just to finish on this, I appreciate it. I love that second question, by the way. Should have asked it first. <laughs> but but l let me just tell you, the whole thing is a scam. The Mueller deal was a scam. The Russian collusion was a scam. You can ask Putin. Nobody's been rougher on Russia than Donald Trump, okay? Now, with that being said, it would be great to get along with Russia. And we will get along with Russia, because it's smart. But nobody's been tougher on Russia than Donald Trump.